in this video we will see the arch of iota you can see the arch of iota here arch of iota starts from the ascending iota ascending iota comes from the right ventricle okay sorry left ventricle left ventricle ascending iota and arch of the iota arch of the iota you could see you can see there is a uh, ligament called ligamentum arteriosum which connects the pulmonary trunk to the arch that is the remnant of ductus arteriosus nearby that you have a uh, now you can see a nerve present between the trachea and esophagus you can see nicely a nerve between the trachea and esophagus you can see now that is called as recurrent laryngeal nerve it lies between the trachea and the esophagus you can see clearly that white color structure is your trachea and this one is your esophagus between the esophagus and the trachea you could see the recurrent laryngeal nerve okay recurrent laryngeal nerve is seen clearly okay between seen clearly okay this will go and bind around the arch that's why it is going beneath okay the recurrent laryngeal nerve is a branch of left vagus you can see the left vagus here okay it is after winding around the arch it is coming here so this is your arch so arch you have the relations i will just tell you the relations of our arch superiorly you have the left subclavian left common carotid and brachiocephalic trunk these three forms a superior relation along with that you have a nice vein starting from here called brachiocephalic vein which goes here so brachiocephalic vein so structures again left subclavian left common carotid right brachiocephalic and the, this is trunk this is called vein left brachiocephalic vein this forms a superior relation inferior relations we'll see one by one and this is the ductus arteriosus and this is your uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve and here your uh, this pulmonary trunk okay this is your pulmonary trunk these three relations inferiorly so superior relations inferior relations over right lateral relations this side is left so left side you will be having which nerve is coming this is the descending iota is coming here left lung left pleura will be here and then descending iota and esophagus is here and then the most important is recurrent laryngeal nerve is coming over here okay recurrent laryngeal nerve lies posteriorly so these are the structures lying behind and the most important structure which is lying coming from right side to left is your already i have shown you know thoracic duct thoracic duct also you have to show thoracic duct is coming and then it is entering into the neck so thoracic duct also you should show so four structures posteriorly this is all about the arch of iota relations so right lung right side here in the arch you have to write about the trachea esophagus and the tracheoesophageal groove you have to write in the right side and the left side you have to write about right, left lung pleura and hemiazygous azygous and the sympathetic chain everything you can write here lung pleura as hemiazygous and the sympathetic chain you have to write it in the left side understand here you have to write about thoracic duct and uh, right side um, trachea esophagus and left recurrent laryngeal nerve you have to write so these are the relations about the arch of iota